All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about this, which is the Aura Ring. The Aura Ring is a sleep tracker. Okay, so this tiny little device, let me just try and get a close up of this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about here. So I don't know if you can see this, but you have three different sensors here. There's a temperature gauge, an accelerometer, and a blood pulse infrared scanner. And the idea is you put this on your finger and it kind of senses these different things and there's an algorithm that detects how you're sleeping, your movement, your step count, heart rate variability, blood pressure, pulse, all of these different things, even down to your body temperature. And the app, which comes with the ring, which uh, I'll go through in a second, it will tell you all kinds of different things that will help you improve your sleep score, your readiness, your you know uh, heart rate variability, your all of these different things. It will help you improve those things. In my opinion, it's an essential tool um, that you should use for your lucid dreaming, biohacking, and just for overall wellness. I think sleep is really underrated. Now, I didn't discover this until probably like a year ago, and I didn't really discover sleep tracking until just two years ago. So for most of my life, I was just kind of guessing. I had no idea what things were impacting my sleep. I had no idea how to improve my sleep. And I definitely didn't know things like how much REM sleep or deep sleep am I getting in every night? How long does it take me to fall asleep? What things affect my sleep? My body temperature dip, my core temperature, all of these different stats that you can track with the Aura Ring. I had no idea about these things. Now I've used this ring pretty much every day, maybe with like a couple of days exception for the last year. And I've got a lot of data from that. And I'm gonna make another video about the things I learned, like exactly what it's taught me. But in this video, I just wanna focus on my long-term experiences using the ring and why you should probably get one if you can afford one. I mean, they're about $300, um, which might be too much for most people, but don't let that put you off. You know, Don't leave this video immediately because in the future, you probably will end up getting this. So firstly, the good stuff. It's really accurate, as far as I can see. It's fun, it looks good, it's completely waterproof. And I, by the way, I've tested this thing everywhere. I've worn it in showers, it's swimming in the ocean, you know, in saunas, in spas, in hot tubs, climbing, working out, running. It's pretty tough, you know? And now, the first thing you'll notice when you get this thing is that it's pretty light. It's not metal, or at least it's not solid metal. So the whole ring is actually light. It feels like it's made of plastic, but don't let that put you off. It's really tough. And although you can see the electronics on the, in the, on the kind of inside there, it's completely waterproof. It's completely wireless as well. It can charge wirelessly. And it has this little ridge. This is the version I got. It has a little ridge on the top. And I think it looks really cool. Now, it will actually tell you, and I'm gonna get into the app in a second. It will tell you exactly what is causing or you know what could be causing your bad sleep um, interruptions, lack of REM sleep, lack of deep sleep. The app is really, really good. And I'm gonna get onto the app in a second, but let me just say that overall, I've loved the Aura Ring. It's been probably one of my favorite products I've owned. Uh, before this, I did actually try the Apple Watch and I used something, I think it was like Auto Sleep or some kind of app like that. It was okay, but I have tattoos all over my wrists. And so it didn't really track anywhere near as accurately as the Aura Ring. Most nights it would actually say we couldn't gather any data because the laser couldn't penetrate through the tattoos. It's kind of annoying, um, especially because removing the tattoos is not an option, so I had to get something different. But I'm glad that I did because then I could get the Aura Ring. All right, so now the app itself. This is uh, available on app, Apple and Android. And so firstly, what you'll notice is like the dashboard just tells you basic things about you know, your overall health, what you should be doing, how many calories you burned, different, exercises, you can track your readiness. The main thing you're gonna to wanna to be looking at is the sleep tab, obviously. Now, this dashboard might be a bit confusing and I might even split this up into a few videos, I haven't decided yet. But it will tell you things like your total sleep time and you can track that and you can put tags like what things affected it, walking, different exercises. Your time in bed, sleep efficiency, resting heart rate, your overall sleep score, which is a combination of all of these different things here. Total sleep, efficiency, restfulness. This is like how much you toss and turn in the night. REM sleep, it tells you how much and what percentage of your to total sleep it was. So in this case I had, uh, this was last night, I had almost two hours of REM sleep and or less than an hour of deep sleep. So you can see that's red because you're supposed to get between 10 and 20% as a total of your, um, of your night's sleep in deep sleep. I did not get that last night. And if you click on each each one, it tells you like a bit more about it, how you can work on it, how you can improve it, that kind of thing. 
And then here it will track the sleep stages. So you can see here it tells me the timings. It tells me uh, when I was in deep sleep, when I was in light sleep, REM, when I was awake, um, and exactly when that happened. It also tracks my heart rate throughout the night. So I can see like I had a heart rate spike here. Maybe I was having a nightmare or a dream. Maybe I woke up, maybe I heard a noise. Uh, and then it's, it tracks my lowest heart rate as an average over the course of, you know, however long you um, wear it for. So you, you can see your sleep day by day here. And then on the online version of this, you can actually track um, your trends and you can go on like a weekly view and that kind of thing. Now, what it will actually do is it also tracks your readiness. So this is like your overall ability to physically perform. And it gives you a score, tells you your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, very important statistic to know, your respiratory rate, your body temperature. So it can tell you like, for example, this night, I got a 0.4 degree drop in body temperature. And I think that's because I left the window open. On some nights, it's a slight rise. Very interesting to know actually, because this can even tell you if you're getting sick a day or two before you actually know, um, which is very useful to know, obviously, because you can, you can start recovery before you even know you're sick. And then you have like these kind of, this dashboard of statistics here, telling you about your body uh, temperature recovery index, very useful, heart rate variability, tracked throughout the night, resting heart rate. And then the activity, this is more for during the day. Um, so I've, or I've already been on quite a long walk today, so I've got almost 10,000 steps in. Um, and then it, it tells you these different things. This is an algorithm based on the last seven days rolling average but it tracks pretty much everything like the intensity of your exercise when you walked when you when you worked out how many calories you burned and so on and then on the home page here so it shows like the battery level battery level of the ring you can turn on airplane mode so it will actually store the data for up to a week without you needing to connect it to your phone and um, all kinds of things here you can use like trends you can see different things and then you can actually add tags. This is really important because if you don't add tags then you don't know which things actually contributed to your sleep improvement or decline. So let's say if today I, um, I drank some alcohol, I would press alcohol, um, whatever else, I don't know, coffee, cold shower. And then if you do that every day, when you look back on it, you can see exactly which things affected your sleep quality. So overall, it's super useful to see those things in a really clear dashboard like that. You can see exactly what things are affecting your sleep. And it might be things you didn't even know, like leaving the window open causes a 10% rise in your deep sleep, for example. That might be true for you. Um, you can see exactly what things are having which effect on your sleep, and then that will let you improve it. So that's been my experience with this thing. I will actually be making more in-depth videos going into specific aspects of the Aura Ring on my other channel, which is focused more on like biohacking, um, and that is Transcend Your Limits. You can find that in the channel list. You know, in my, if you go to my channel and click on channels, you can see that, uh, or just type in Transcend Your Limits and you'll be able to find my other videos there. Let me know what you think about the Aura Ring. Would you get one? $300 is quite expensive for what it is, but if I lost it, I would buy it again. And that's kind of a good way to know if a product is really good, is that if you lost a thing or if it got stolen, would you go out and buy the same thing again? And for me, the answer will be yes. So I really do use this thing. I find a lot of value in this and uh, hopefully you will too. See you next time.